Hi everyone, I thought I would do a quick tutorial for you, walking you through how to navigate through my website to pick up any of the free designs that I'm offering or purchase any of the classes or any of the other designs that I have available. So I'm just getting started and I recently released the Quilt -a Block series and oh my goodness, Thank y'all so much. I have had so much positive reactions to this series and, and lots of you enjoying those designs. So again, I just want to make it a little more understandable for you if you're having, if you're not really comfortable with going to websites and downloading, I was going to just show you how mine works. So if you look in the upper left hand corner, it says lorikollab.com and that's what you would put into your browser to get to my website. In any of the videos that I do, that I have things that you can grab or you can purchase, I try to place my website and talk about it in the video itself. And if I'm doing it on YouTube, I try to put the link down in the description. But it's really easy. It's just lorikollab.com. And when you do that, it's going to bring you to my website. So at the top, you'll see where it says Lori Inspiration Collaboration. So that's that's me. And then below it, you're going to have a few things that you can choose from. The first one is my shop page. That's my landing page. And so if you're on the shop page, you can just place your fingers on your... Oops, I clicked on it. Let me back up. I'm going to use my back arrow. You can just browse up and down and see what I have to offer. Okay, now I'm going to browse back up to the top. And what I just recently added was this one right here, the Quilt A Block series. And it says printable PDF instructions only for the four patch and the four by four blocks. So this one right here is strictly just the printable instructions for the cuts that you would need to create the four patch Quilt A Block series or the little four by four um, patch over here, the four by four design. So if you just need to grab those PDF instructions, you can just click on this one and you'll be able to get it. So you'll notice that the little hand is moving around and as you navigate through each of the designs, you'll have the little hand on each of the options and that's going to allow you in just a moment, we're going to click on one if I've uploaded different pictures for the project that I'm offering, you'll get to see the different pictures that are available for that one. So let's go back up here to the quilt -a block series. I'm going to click on it. And then it's going to bring it up more in a full view. Over to the right, you'll see a description of what you just clicked on. And you'll see the price too. So if it doesn't cost anything, it'll have zero, zero. So now here on the little bar, it says add to cart. So let's click on add to cart. It's adding it and it's added, but you still stay right there. Now I'm going to just scroll up to the top. And in the upper right hand corner, right over here, you're going to see a little image of a shopping cart. And my cart now says one because I just placed that item in the cart. So I'm going to click on it. If you're ready to check out, you can just go ahead and click on the cart. If you want to keep browsing, you can touch next and it'll continue to just scroll through the different items. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. So see, it's just going to bring you to each different, each next offer if you want to pick up anything else. But the little cart still stays in that upper right hand corner and again it still says one because I've only placed one item in my cart. So I'm going to click on the cart now and on this screen you're going to see an overview of what you've placed in your cart. And here is the instructions that I placed in there for the quilt -a block There's a little X off to the left. So if you've accidentally put something in your cart you didn't want, you could just click on that and that'll remove that item. It shows you over to the right what your price is for the item and your subtotal. And then below that it says checkout. So we're going to click on checkout now. See right here we need to click on checkout. And then it's going to bring you up to this view. So you have to put your email in next. And again, you're still getting an overview of what your order is over to the right, a little summary. And I'll click continue. You'll want to click continue right after you've placed your correct email in there. You have to put your email or you won't go to the purchase page ask you for your billing for your payment information and I am going to just real quickly because we're on the internet <laughs> I'm going to place a little post-it note all right so I put my little post-it note 
what it doesn't want to stay but once you have gone ahead and placed your 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 billing address information that goes with whatever way you're paying you'll go down to the bottom and click continue you'll see your address right underneath the payment area that that's related with your payment option and then at the bottom we'll click purchase it's completing your order and now here let's look at this so on this page this is where it's telling you that the order is confirmed it'll give you an order number the the amount of your order that you were charged and then it says your purchase includes digital downloads get them here so you can click right here below where it says download I can click right here and I'm going to click on it and now it just downloaded that PDF that digital download to my downloads on my computer now when you get an email you're going to notice that it tells you that the digital download is good for 24 hours after you click on it so whenever you purchase it I would just highly recommend that just go ahead click on your download and when you download it it goes into the downloads folder on your computer I'll just click on this area of my computer I'll go over to my little documents area I can go to my PC I can click on downloads and right up here at the top there is the file that I just downloaded and in this one you're going to get the PDF for the 4x4 instructions okay there that is I'm going to go ahead and X out of that then you're going to get the PDF for the instructions for cutting out the 4x4 quilt box. I'm going to X out of that. And the bottom one is just a little kind of a disclaimer, just a little bit of information that you could read through if you would like to. And you'll get that in each one of my designs that I download. So there you have it. So it's in my downloads folder. So if you download it right away once you go through your purchasing process and then you can take from your downloads folder and place it wherever you want to place it on your laptop maybe you want to keep all of these on an external flash drive or a little flash drive that's totally up to you so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and X that out and I'm just going to go back up to my shop page and then it just brings me right back to the top now you'll notice over here on my little little cart it's a little hard to see because of my lights it's zeroed out so there's nothing in my cart so the one thing again I would just tell you that make sure that uh, once you get through your purchase go ahead and download it save it where you want to if you go over to your email you'll see it you'll see the file in your email you'll get an email with a download but once you click on that file that download in your email it's only good for 24 hours so you want to go ahead and get those downloaded to your computer uh, or your flash drive, wherever you want to save them. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. And thank y'all so much. I appreciate I appreciate y'all for watching me on YouTube, for subscribing, and really enjoying some of the content that I've been placing out there. I really enjoy all of y'all's comments. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.